to another fiddlehead fiddle lesson. Today we're going to do a Boeing called the Georgia Shuffle. We're going to try it out on Whiskey Before Breakfast. I'm going to play it for you on Whiskey Before Breakfast and then um, we'll kind of do a very simple kind of scale thing to learn it. Okay? So if you don't already know the tune Whiskey Before Breakfast, uh, I got a beginner video for that and that you could watch to kind of get up to speed. Alright, so here's Whiskey Before Breakfast, the A part, with just separate bows, no slurs. Listen to it. Here it is with the Georgia Shuffle. fiddly sort of uh, bowing sound. You hear it a lot. Very useful. It, it, what it's doing basically is it's creating an accent on two and four. Like do do da do do da do 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 boom. It's like the boom pa boom pa boom pa. It's creating an accent on that pa. Do do ba do do da do da do da do da do. It may even be helpful for you to kind of do some little like singing things to, to hear it like mm, pa, mm, pa, mm, pa. or another kind of little ec warm up exercise would be like tap your foot, stomp your foot and slap your knee like a hillbilly but that'll kind of help you visualize it. Another way to look at it is that um, the foot is like kick drum on a, on a drum set and the slap, the two and the four is like what the snare drum would do in a, in, a, in a very basic beat. Okay, so now I'm gonna just get you going with simple exercises to do the Georgia Shuffle. I want you to start by doing the first four notes of the D scale, separate bows up and down to, uh, actually, So, so the first five notes of the D scale. Just do that, just get that grooving on that first. Maybe you want to pause it, do it a little bit more, and then come back. Step two of this, um, and there'll be a third step in which you get it all together. Step two. We're gonna put the we're gonna do a long down bow and then three slurred up bows. And the long down bows for now and this intermediate step is gonna happen on the first and the third beats. It will sound like if you're comfortable with the fourth finger on the D string, it might be a good thing to do there too. Notice how much bow gets used on the down bow. That's why it creates an accent. You're using, putting all that energy um, into one note, and then the other three notes just get the, that energy divided between them. For fun, you can kind of swing it. Good variation. Now slow it down a lot. Then try it on a D scale. Do that a whole bunch. Get it so that it's second nature, so that you can just play it, not think about it too much. Pause the video, do that. And then repause. Voila, we're back for step three. Welcome back. Good job. We're going to do. Um, we're now going to do the actual Georgia Shuffle, in which that down bow is going to happen on the second and the fourth beat. So, it's kind of hard, so I'm going to do it, kind of teach it to you bit by bit, and I think that you'll get it if you just kind of do it very, go into this really slowly. 
So the first thing we're going to do, instead of starting right on the D, we're going to start that last note before it turns around, the first finger on D, and we're going to start up over there. We're going to go one over one. So that open D is like the pattern turning around, but with the bowing, the up bow starts right before that. If that doesn't make sense, don't worry, just play this, and as we, eventually you'll see how it fits together. Maybe end with a little throw away. Okay, next crucial thing, we're going to add a long down bow on the second finger. start doing the Georgia Shuffle in a very simple way. We're going to cycle that. Any questions? Well, just write me a comment and I'll try to answer it as soon as possible. And if you can do that already, well then, congratulations, you're already doing the Georgia Shuffle. Kind of a challenging bowing, I think. Here it is again. Do it a whole bunch, pause the video, speed it up. Slow it way down, slow can be hard too. done that, come, we're going to practice that a bunch, we're going to add more, we're going to go. So I added three, four, three on the D string. Throw away is a great thing, is to bring out tone in any phrase you do. Almost. I think you're getting it now. Let's cycle that. See if that's... Well, actually, no, let's add one more note. So after this three, four, three, we're going to add a long two. So let's try that. Try that again. out a bunch with a throw away at the end. Pause the video, come back to it. Hello again, and now we're going to just cycle that and we have our basic little Georgia shuffle on a scale going. Congrats, you're doing great. That, um, well, if you just practice that over and over on scales, eventually it'll sneak into your playing without even having to think about it too much. Next step, you do it on the A string. So, and then, and then the next step after that, all this I think you can just do on your own. Uh, we'll put together a full D scale. swing it a little bit as a variation. That's nice. Yeah. Oh, one note, when you're, when you're doing the full scale, instead of using D4, 
you would do is the open A. Okay, so far so good. So once you get that down, the D scale, full D scale, next step would be like full A scale. And then G scale, you can do a two octave G scale. Slow, fast. And then start trying to add it to tunes. Whiskey before breakfast again would be. Maybe I'll maybe I'll give you even less to start with. Starting up, 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 straight down. Now we're gonna add a little bit more. Adding more. that again. If at any of these steps you lose it, go back, just do one little bit over and over again. I can't emphasize how important and good that is. Just practicing little things over and over again, looping them until you don't even have to think about it, until you're just playing, you're making music. So here's that piece again. Continuing. Here's that again. Second quarter again. So on. Do each part. Maybe you have to do just like four notes over and over again. Like. Try to find an exercise that works for you and then build out. And then do eventually you'll do the whole tune. And then eventually, like I said before, you won't even have to think about it too much. You'll be doing this bowing, throwing it in there in random spots. Maybe not necessarily the whole tune. Alright, that's about it on the Georgia Shuffle. Um, if I think of anything else, I'll uh, maybe do another related video. Let me know what you think. If you thought this was helpful, um, let me know. Subscribe at the red button below somewhere down there. And thanks a lot. Have a good day. Bye.